Rochester Fire Department is giving its recruits an on hands training in some very tight spaces. Roxanne Elias explains why it is so difficult for them, especially when they're rescuing people from those types of situations. Keep track, but don't come out without it. It's a good experience. Um, this is uh, definitely a challenge to figure out if you do well in small spaces. It's the first time Rochester Fire Department recruit Marcus Gudgel has ever had to go through a confined space training like the one on Thursday. This is the continuing portion of uh, the Recruit Academy. Our two new recruits are um, about six weeks into their Recruit Academy and they are doing their final evolutions of a two-day confined space training. The storm drain the recruits had to go through today is only 24 inches in diameter. That's only only about as long as my arm. It's a uncomfortable situation. It's not something you you practice a lot beforehand. So it's a lot of work because you're limited in mobility of getting yourself through the sewer tube. Are they coming out? But the aim is for the recruits to be uncomfortable. You know, we're really an all hazards department. We get called upon for so many different things and um, giving them the opportunity to train in these types of situations um, just ensures that, you know, when the call comes in, no matter what it is, they, they have the knowledge to, to really take care of whatever needs to be done. It gives confidence to recruits like Gudgel who may one day have to put the skills to use. Um, I'm someone that's very hands-on learner, so doing repetitions like this, um, doing it multiple times, I think is something Something that I will be able to take with me and kind of fall back on training from today if we ever had a real life scenario where we needed to do something like this. Hey, what do you need to report? Come in. In Rochester, Roxanne Elias, ABC6 News.